Okay, so I unfortunately don't have all the supplies yet, but I have to get this done today. Um, so I went and cut water bottles, which I am finding it's not the greatest thing because there is um, contour to the bottom, so it's hard to mix them up, okay? So I have with us um, the white. Right here I mixed the green, the uh, shamrock green with white to make this lighter color. This one here I did a bunny, uh, bunny day yellow and mixed it with a vanilla ice cream to get that lighter color. This one here I have mixed the red and the blue. It is just the, um, it's apple, apple barrel, uh, red apple and the blue is cobalt blue. This one here, I mixed the cobalt blue with white. This is just cobalt blue. This is just green apple. And um, this one here is territorial beige. All right, I have added a little bit of water and now I'm going to add um, a little bit of nail polish remover to each one. Just a couple drops, probably two or three drops. And let's see how that goes. All right, so I have done all the mixing of the acetone. Let's see how this goes. A um, little bit of white. I think that it might be a little too runny, but this is all experimental to me. So I can tell you that before the next time I do this, I will have all the proper <laughs> the proper supplies. Um, I am going with a peacock theme. Hence all the beautiful purples and greens. Yeah, I think it's a little too runny, but we'll see. This one I know is. I'm going to use that just a little bit of this because I'm going to use that for the background. Let's see how it looks inside there, though. Oh, it looks kind of like a peacock. And I might even use some kind, some of the blow technique to give it the feather effect. We will see. All right, let me get my canvas ready and I'll be right back. All right, I got my canvas um, prepped. I'm gonna have my husband hold the camera while I do the flip. I'm gonna start up here in the corner and let's see what happens. Give it a second to fall down. And here we go. Oh yeah, very runny. But I kind of like the lighter colors. I'm trying to convince my husband that I need a bigger room without carpet for this paint. He's not listening to me yet. All right, um, I like that to start. And I will add some, maybe some darker colors for the peacock look. I'll be right back. All right, let's see what happens when I add a few, just drops of here and there to get the, uh, maybe the feathery look. Yeah, he needs to send friends. Leave the 
That's kind of cool with that little double dip there. some purple. Let's see if we have any of that left. I apologize for the fur babies. They don't know how to behave themselves. They like to make a lot of noise. And now how about a little bit of that yellow? All right, now I'm trying to decide if I want to, oh, I do see some cells popping up here. That is pretty cool. It is amazing to watch other people and their cells, but when it's happening on your creation, um, kind of cool. Let's see what happens if I just tilt it instead of blowing on it. No, I think I'm going to do the blow. I'll be right back with Okay, as you can see, my table is not very level. I tried to fix that a little bit. So let's see what happens here. feel the need for a little more purple. Let's see. Quite a lot of um, green, so let's try this one here. Just a dot here and there. No, nope, there's not going to be enough of that one. Try the light blue, right, right in the center of the purple. See how that happens now. I 
I think that's good. And then right here in this area, I'm going to be adding a scripture. And I think that's a pretty good housewarming gift for him. Uh, thank you for watching. And if you have any um, comments or suggestions, just post them in the, in the, you know, below and I will appreciate it very much. Thank you.